Hello everyone, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Mega Drive games right now. Um, we're talking about uh, my beloved Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Fun, fun, fun game. I had so much uh, incredible times with this. Along with like Hard Drive and Lakers vs. Celtics. Ghostbusters with its great super deformed graphics. I mean, many of you might have loved like Sonic the Hedgehog 1 too, but I'm here playing the more obscure games. And Michael Jackson's Moonwalker is most certainly one of these. It really uh, didn't sell as well as stuff like Sonic the Hedgehog, but it was a fun, fun game. And by the way, like, Michael Jackson was collaborating on the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 soundtrack. Imagine that. Another funny Easter egg is the fact that he was uh, tentatively supposed to be Jar Jar Binks in Star Wars. Just imagine how different things would have turned out if he had his dance ability added to the mix in Star Wars. And uh, the reason it didn't work out is because of creative differences. Because he didn't want to be CGI. He wanted to have his real life interpretive nature in the uh, mix of the movie. And I think that would have been cool. Practical effects, as you will. And uh, just think of like John Clovis Dam, another actor who kind of wanted to put his own input into a role. The Predator having martial arts. I mean, just imagine Predator doing split kicks and such. Uh, that would have been pretty badass. And here we got our classic 45 degree angle stairs, like in many games here. Once you play Castlevania, you can get through the mix of this. But uh, listen to this incredible chip tune music here of many renditions of various Michael Jackson songs. But once you get to the graveyard stage in both this version and the arcade version, uh, inexplicably speaking, uh, we don't have Thriller Nether them due to licensing issues. But we're gonna go look out that Star Trek Tree, tell me, and go to my main folder. And uh, going back a little bit, historically speaking here, uh, Big Blue Frontline did an incredible thing, uh, a feat of amazingness. Uh, we combined two of the coolest things ever. We're talking Final Fight Arcade with the incredible, impeccable Sega CD soundtrack. And uh, we're gonna go to Moonwalker right now. Bam. We're gonna load this with Arcade Main Tales of the Extreme. And the original game has like chiptune style music, of course. But uh, imagine uh, doing the real Michael Jackson songs for this game. And that's what uh, GP Star was able to pull off. And the collaborative nature of getting this going in Main Tales of the Extreme was absolutely extraordinary. We got this going for many other games such as Outrun, Mortal Kombat, NBA Jam. Double Dragon and so on. So many, so many awesome games. We're going to start the game per normal here. And just look how awesome this is. And uh, we can even do two, uh, three player mode activity. Just check it out. I'm starting the game per normal here. And listen to the music carefully. It is not chipped in music. It is actually the real uh, music that Michael Jackson put out. Awesome, awesome stuff here. But we're going to go into retro settings real quick. Uh, just up the ante just a little bit. And put Hockey Binds. And uh, since I'm only one person right now, we're going to go to Hotkey Binds for a user 2. And I'm going to change my controller to uh, the same controller I'm using for 1 and 3 as well. And guess what, guys and gals? We have 3 player mode activate! <laughs> How awesome is that? And this is so awesome. And Michael Jackson was real cool as far as like letting uh, Wario Yankovic do parodies of his music. Prince, another great musician, did not allow uh, any... Uh, parodies of his music whatsoever. I think it would have been kind of cool to see what Weird Al would have done with uh, Prince music. Artist formerly known as Prince. And there's a pretty interesting story why he was the artist formerly known as Prince due to creative differences and he just didn't want to have any kind of hoopla as far as the record uh, financiers and such. But that, he changed back later on once that was all sorted out. And uh, many bands have like creative differences with their various acts and such. It is what it is. Let's hear what the second song here is. I mean, this is so awesome. Okay. And this is awesome. This is actually one of my favorite songs. I love the Alien Ant Farm version of this. I was fairly close to one and like to have the Alien Ant Farm version in this game, but we decided at the end, just keep it all straight, down and home, awesome Michael Jackson music. And you might notice this is actually a remix where it's a little bit more extended in the music, where it takes a little bit longer for the vocals to kick in. There we go. We can even do like magic dance attacks and such. Look at that. Now yes, this game is absolutely awesome, but check it out. Imagine if this parlayed into another game entirely. Just look, look very carefully. Imagine if we had a full CD soundtrack for the Moonwalker on Genesis with the real Michael Jackson music. I mean, what would it be like if this actually was possible? Well, Michael Jackson mode at the foot. Now we get there to the real life songs, Moonwalker. We need that in the game. And uh, give personal thanks to Brutapode89 for helping test this amazing edition out. And anybody else who has coded this, just a tremendous, tremendous job. 
getting these games that would have never ordinarily had CD soundtracks have an amazing CD soundtrack. Okay, let's rescue the five children and move on to some of this amazing music. And we have the real version of Smooth Criminal here. No matter which version it is, Alien and Fire or Michael Jackson, love it a thousand times over. Just such an incredible game, and I'm gonna be playing this more and more. And the cool thing is when you get to the graveyard stage, you'll get a very, very special surprise. You'll see for yourself if you uh, play this out. I'll do a tutorial on how to do this, of course. I'm not gonna leave you guys and gals hanging. You're gonna be able to do this on your mini classics as well. There's my cat again. It keeps what's up. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, I'll give you some white food after I'm done with this little gameplay demonstration. Hey, check this out. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, after the game's over. Come on, dude. I want to use that chair again. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna have Bubbles tell us where to go next. So many Bubbles jokes out there, too. I mean, for real. <laughs> I always love the jokes. Go down the stairs. You can tap the uh, magic button, bam, and just slide down the stairs. Then we have a little bit of a boss here. And again, our magic is combined with our health meter. Oh, ha ha, you'll never catch me. Okay, Joe Pesci, I'll catch you and my cousin Vinny when I review it. Take out a few enemies here, and then we'll do a magic attack. That should be enough. Hold down the uh, magic button, and look. Wow. And it gets really, really funny when you do this with, of course, the robots and the dogs in the later stages. We'll try to get to, like, the stage that has the dogs, just so you can see how silly it is. And how the hell does he do that lean? I mean, for real. Okay. Now he's got a kick out of, like, uh, Justin Timberlake and Corey Feldman did, like, pretty spot-on uh, interpretations of, like, Michael Jackson. Woo! I love these sound effects. Okay, we're going to do the second stage here, and it gets more and more complicated, especially when you get to, like, the camera stages. Look, the way they walk up the steps, it's like in sync with it. It's almost like, how cool, uh, look at that, that's awesome. It's like watching the old uh, Pink Floyd The Wall movie in the way that the music completely syncs with the movie. Just like uh, the dark side of the moon with Wizard of Oz. That is so awesome, too. We're going to get to the stage real quick and try to rescue all these children. We should have uh, five left now. And the song again never gets old. But uh, once we get through this uh, first three stages here, we should be able to hear another song. I believe it was Beat It for the next section. And uh, in another playthrough, I'll go through the entirety of the game, because I, I have beaten this game uh, quite a few times over the years. Just the main thing in my collection, along with, like I said, Lakers for Celtics, Hard Drive, and Ghostbusters, and many, many more. I even like uh, Sparkster, another fun game, which is uh, basically Rocket Knight Adventure. Both of them games made by Konami. What is your favorite obscure Mega Drive game? Let's do some moonwalking here. <laughs> Love that moonwalk. Let's go up these uh, Castlevania stairs. We should be near the boss battle here. Boss battle mode activate. And uh, the last challenge should be coming up here in the moment. One more left. Now I'm going to assume the last kid's on the final floor here, so I don't need to really go open up all these other doors here. Found to be up here, probably to the left if I remember correctly. Once you play the game enough, you're probably going to remember exactly where they were, because they really don't change. But that makes it easier to go through like 30 doors. Uh, we're going to go to the boss battle here. And let's try that to... Oh, there's my... Uh, Joe Pesci again. Take out a few enemies here. Try not to lose any health here, because I'm going to use my dance attack again. That should be enough to do my uh, dance attack. There we go. Bam! Okay. <laughs> One guy left. I can't wait to do it with the dogs in the second tier stage, though. And there are uh, quite a few of these, which I'm going to be showcasing in the tutorial. Okay, let's go to the third stage here. Once we beat this, we're going to be moving on to uh, a nice rendition. Stage out beat it. Woo! And again, I love watching the uh, parodies of this on Mad TV, like Home Alone with Michael Jackson is absolutely hilarious with, you know, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, one of my favorites of all. Okay. We're going to go to the uh, bottom here, way bottom, and start from the ground up. Okay, one down, six to go. Then we're going to be hearing another song. You know, you gotta check the windows this time around, too. Oh, there's my cat again. Okay, I'll give you some white food after this. Third time's the charm. 
Okay. So I did this floor. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I don't do that floor a second time when I climb back up. Oh, probably there wouldn't have been a kid in there with, of course. Uh, that guy coming out of there. Okay, we're gonna go back up after I uh, check over here. I don't think there's any more kids down here from what I remember. But it's not gonna hurt to check, so I don't have to backtrack. Oh, there is. So I got three left there. So we got the first two floors covered here. And uh, what is your favorite Michael Jackson song? I still kind of think it's funny that uh, when the movie Patty came out many, many years ago, like in roughly 1974, Michael Jackson actually did the title of theme to that. I like both Willard and Ben. Both fun, fun movies. I've read the book as well. Okay, the last kid should be up here. And I like the, uh, the remake of uh, Willard as well. That was a fun horror movie in the early 2000s. Okay, two more, and uh, you might notice that there's nowhere I could go right now, but check this out. Bam, almost like a little bit of a puzzle here. Two more kids left. Ah, there's my cat for the fourth time. I'm going to have to pause this game and give the cat some damn food already. I almost want to go back and watch the Moonwalker uh, movie musical uh, production again. The last kid should be over uh, here in the one of these last few doors. There we go. Now we get to do the boss battle. Okay, to the left, and then we're gonna be going to the next section. Ah, third time I saw Joe Pesci here. Okay. Okay, we'll do a couple hits there, and then we'll uh, use my dance magic. Dance magic dance. What, is that from Labyrinth Dance Magic Dance? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, let's do our uh, magic attack here now. Bam. You're going down, dude. <laughs> okay. It would be kind of funny if we had the plant kind of waving in uh, uh, music, too. That would have been funny as hell. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, he didn't have all his energy gone. I was off by one hit there. Okay, and there's another cool thing, like, when you get to, like, the second stages, there's, like, a comet that comes out of the sky, a meteor, should we say, and once you get, uh, hit by the meteor, you can turn into the badass robot, and you can do this, obviously, in the arcade version as well, but you do it a different way, you just click the power up for it, but here, you gotta get the meteor when it comes out of the sky, here you go, oh, that is awesome, and you gotta watch out for dynamite, too, did they steal this dynamite from, Nin uh, from Revenge of Shinobi, should we say? And let's get some of them dogs make them dance coming up here. Feed it! There we go, let's check this out. I'm gonna make that dog dance. Look at this. Oh, jeez, I screwed that magic up completely. I attacked the dogs, but I'll do it one more time here. Don't worry, I'll make them dance. <laughs> let's go on to the rooftop here. I'll be able to do the next section and uh, show you the dog dance, and I just accidentally took him out. Oh, jeez. We all know how that goes. Like Team and T in uh, stages where you fall through and have to do the platform sections again. Let's take out this little section here, and then we'll get to the dog dancing again. These dogs are just antagonizing me because I didn't make them dance. And I was talking about one of my recent videos about how many horror movies from the late 70s, early 80s had uh, Doberman pictures in them. It was kind of interesting, to say the least. One kid left. Where are you? Oh, there you are, hiding in a dumpster of all places. Now we gotta fight the boss. Okay. Give me some dogs. Okay, here we go. Take out a few enemies here and then do the uh, magic. This should be enough to take the rest of them out. Bye-bye. If you do your magic attack for less duration, you actually whip your head out of them. This <laughs> is so cool. Check this out. Throw in the hat. Classy. Now we're going to make some dog dance for the uh, tail end of this video. Woo! <laughs> And uh, in some stages he goes, woo, like an extended one, hyper extended one. 
dynamite coming up. We need to get to some of these dogs again. And the dogs barking and digi uh, digital uh, tight uh, feature is kind of funny. Okay, let's try not killing them this time. I want to see them dance. There we go, dimes and dogs. I laughed my ass off the first time I saw that. So funny, funny, funny. But in any case, uh, 